What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to build a complete authentication system using AWS Amplify on the React.js app. So AWS Amplify is a very powerful service that uses Cognito in the background that handles all the authentication logics and manage the user pool and user identities for you automatically in the background. So in today's tutorial, you don't even need to do any setup on the Cognito side because Amplify configures everything for you automatically in the background. So it's very convenient. So at the end of the tutorial, you'll be able to build a system or website that looks like this, where you have the home page and the about page where you can access with or without authentication. And then you have the premium content page where you can see the content only after you log into the system. So right now, let me create an account using my email address. Hit great, and then enter the verification code I just received in my email. Confirm, and now I'm logged in and able to see the content on the premium content page. And I can hit log out to log out of the system. And then I can log back in again using the login info I just created. And now I'm authenticated again. So this is what we're going to build today. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right. So right now I am on the homepage of the AWS console. And step number one is to create IAM user for the Amplify configurations. So I'm going to go to IAM. Click on users. Hit add users. Give it a name. Let me just call it Amplify user. And then here we only need the programmatic access because we're going to use the uh, CLI to do everything. So only check that. Hit next. Permission. Let's create a group for that called admin or something. Give it a name. Let me just call it Amplify Admin. And then we're going to give it this admin access Amplify. Hit create. Next. Next. Hit create. And right here, we get the access key and secret access key for, for our user. And right here, we need to copy them and put them in our AWS config files. So I'm going to open our terminal. And your AWS config files are located in the .aws folder. So when I cd into that folder to ls, you should be able to see config and credentials here. So I'm going to open this folder using VS Code. I'm going to use the command line to do it, but you can open VS Code and then navigate to this directory if you want to. So in here, I'm going to open up config and credentials. So in the config file, you can see that I have four different profiles here because I have different users in different accounts. So right now, I'm going to add another one. Let me call it AWS2 Amplify. And then we're going to set the region to be us east one but you can set it to be whatever region you want to config to amplify in and then in the credentials file i need to add another profile here so let me call it the same name it has to be the same name so i'm gonna copy this over and then we need to define the access key id which is that i'm gonna hit copy paste it here and then we need to define the secret access key as well. I'm going to hit show and then copy. All right, I just copied it and then paste it here. OK, so that is done for step number one. I can close the VS Code console. And now we are ready to move on to step number two, which is to install the amplified CLI and the NPX CLI as well. So I'm going to go back to the terminal. I'll go back to the home page. So to install the Amplify CLI, we need to use the NPM to do that. So if you don't have NPM installed, you need to download that first. So all you need to do here is NPM install-g. And what that means is it's global. So after you install that, you can use the CLI command in any directory in your machine. And then add aws-amplify slash CLI. Hit enter. Okay, so it's done, and this is the version that we're using. 
And then the other thing we need to install is the npx that we're going to use to create our React app project. All you need to do here is npm install g npx. But since I already have this installed in my machines, I'm not going to do it again. And now we're ready to move on to the next step, which is to create our React app and then have Amplify set up in our project to do the authentications. So I'm going to navigate to my project directory where I'm going to save the project code. So this is the location where I'm going to save my project, but you can save it wherever you want. And now I'm going to use npx to create our demo app. I'm just going to call it Amplify react app but you can call it whatever project name you want it to be okay so the project creation is done and now if we do a ls we should be able to see our react app is here and now let's use vs code to open our project and start coding okay so right now i have vs code opened up the project so the first thing that we're going to do is we need to install a few more packages that we're going to use in the project. So I'm going to open terminal, new terminal. The first one we're going to use is the router that we're going to use to route the application between different pages. And we're going to use the React Router DOM package. So I'm going to do npm install React Router DOM. Okay, that is done, and we're using version 6. The next one that we're going to install is the AWS Amplified module. Alright, that is done. And then next, we're going to install the UI React inside the AWS Amplified module. Okay, so that is done too. And now I think we're ready to move on to the next step, which is to build out all the three different pages that we're going to have in our website. And that is going to be inside the source folder. We're going to create a new directory called pages. And then inside here, the first one that we're going to have is the homepage, home.js. And then next, we're going to have the about page. And then lastly, we're going to have the premium content page. And then for now, I think we're just going to have some simple contents inside each of them. So for the home page, we're going to define that as a constant. And then we're going to do the same thing for the about page. And then lastly, we have the premium content page. Let's put something simple there for now first, and then we're going to modify that with the uh, amplified module. Okay, and now let's add these three components into the app.js file and then test out the routing. I think we can delete all this. We're going to import some routing stuff first. We also need to import the three components. The first tag we're going to have is the router tag. And then inside here, we're going to have a div where we're going to have three different nav links. The first one is going to be the home page. And then the second one is going to be the about page. And then lastly, we have the premium page. And then next, we're going to have the routes, where we're going to specify the path. Okay, so this is the skeleton of it. And now let's test out the routing before we add the authentication to it. Oh, that's one error here about .js. Okay, so now successful, let's go back. Okay, so that is working. It seems like they're all together. Uh, let's separate them. I'm just gonna add that to the uh, app.css. Can delete everything here. 
and then add our own class. I'll just call it content margin. It's one em. That should be good. And inside here, we can do class name equal to content, and do the same thing for the uh, nav links. Now it should look better. Okay, so I think that looks good to me for now. But as you can see here, I can access the premium content page without any authentications. And we don't want that. So now let's go back to our project and set up our amplified configurations. So go back to the terminal inside VS Code. I'm going to do amplify init to set up our project. Enter project name. Um, I'm just going to do amplify react app something like that and these are the default settings um let's go dev react something yep everything looks good to me but you can modify that if you want to as well and in here we're going to choose a aws profile that we just created earlier so i'm going to hit enter here and then we're going to choose the aws2 amplified Okay, so this is done. And basically what it does is that it creates the Amplify folder for us within our project that includes everything that we need for the authentication setup. And now we can do the add auth to it. And I'm just gonna use the uh, default configuration. And then I'm gonna choose whether I wanna use the username, email, the phone number, the sign up and login. Um, I'm just going to use email and then hit I'm done. Okay, so that is done. So we got a basic setting uh, configured. So right now we, what we can do is we can push our changes or our instantiation or configuration to our AWS account. Amplify push. Hit yes. Okay, so this is done after a few minutes. So what we just did was we pushed our Amplify config setup to our AWS account and then Amplified just configured or set up the user pool and uh, user identities inside AWS Cognito for us automatically. And right now we are ready to use it. So now let's go back to the premium content page. And then we're gonna remove this. We need to add this to it. And then we're gonna import a couple of things. So the first one is the authenticator. And then we also need the CSS so that we have the sign up and sign in form to look pretty. And now inside our return tag, we're gonna add the authenticator. And then inside here, we're gonna have a component that takes in an error function. I'm gonna call it sign out. It's not exactly an error function, but it looks like it. This is a uh, parenthesis. And inside here, we're gonna have a diff. And uh, let's say that we're gonna have a h1 tag here that says, hello, welcome to my website or something like that and then we're going to say something like you are authenticated this is the premium content page and then lastly we are going to have a button we're on click it's going to call the signed out function that we're going to have. It's a built-in function, so we don't need to write anything for it. Uh, let's just call it sign out. Okay, so this is done. And one last thing we need to do is to add our config code inside our index.js file. So in here, we need to import a couple of things. The first one is amplified. And then the second thing is config. 
And then what we're going to do here is we're going to do amplify.configure the paths in the config. Okay, so that should be everything. And now we're ready to test out everything. So I'm going to do npm start. Okay, so it's up and running the home page, about page. And now if I click on the premium content page, it should ask me to sign in or sign out or sign up. Yep. And since we don't have an account yet, so let's create one. So email, I'm just going to enter my email. Password. And then hit create. And I should get a verification code within a few seconds. So I'm just going to enter that because I got it on my phone. Hit confirm. And there you go, it's working. Now you can see the premium content page and I can click on sign out. And obviously I don't have any CSS here, but you can add to it if you want to. And now let's log back in using the login info that we just created. And hey, there you go. And it doesn't affect other pages. And it seems like the whole thing is working and it's pretty simple. And this is it everyone, I hope you have learned something, and if you like this video, I hope you can give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.